And that's kind of where I see myself in this place where I'm just trying to receive God's love so that I can fall in love with Him again. Not conjure up my perfect Christianity, but just be in love with Him again. And so So uh, last week, that video I had from last week was actually even before Kanye West made Christianity cool again. So I was just talking about church in general because people were going to church in a big way, it seemed like. Um, today at the church I was at, oh my goodness, it was incredible. At the very end, there was just like this five minute space where the pastor invited folks to just say, like stand and say, I believe and, and to kind of make that confession of, for Christ. And um, for like, it, no, it was like nonstop for like five minutes, the whole time. There were about, I don't know, I'd probably say like 40, 50 people who stood at one point um, during that whole five minutes. It was like, you know, he just, he just let that time be. And every once in a while you just see someone stand up and say, I believe. And then there was a follow up. And so that was really cool. Like a lot going on in the church world. And for those of you guys who haven't been out to church in a, in a minute, as it, as it were, just check out what's going on. You know, I think there's a lot of churches, praise God, that are doing right by the gospel. They're doing right by the word. And they're really faithfully preaching what is true. And so I would encourage you to find a gospel-oriented, gospel-based church um, that's filled with the Spirit. And I don't know, you can DM me on here on Instagram or wherever this is going to be. You can just send a, send me a message and I can recommend a couple of churches I, I would stand by. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the, the key is not just a feel-good message, not just a, a message about, wow, your best life now or something great's going to happen if this happened. No, you don't have to worry about anything. You just show up, you turn to God, and He'll take care of the rest um, out of His grace, His love. He'll just embrace you no matter where you are in life. And so um, I might even put a little link to the message that I heard today, but it was just a powerful message about Jonah and just turning back to God and, and letting him do the rest. And, you know, oh man, just life with God again. Just powerful message. So I don't know. I, I'm not saying a ton and I'm not going to give you a sermon, but I am just going to encourage you to consider going to a place where you know that they might be faithfully uh, preaching the gospel and then find yourself falling in love with God again. And that's kind of where I see myself in this place where I'm just trying to receive God's love so that I can fall in love with Him again. Not conjure up like perfect Christianity, but just be in love with Him again. And so um, let, lo let God love you and uh, let Him just come through. Um, that's it for now. I'm just driving off of a, of a wonderful Sunday service. And uh, speaking of Sunday service, you know, Kanye's album is pretty dope. Um, yeah, man, you know, closed on Sunday. You're my Chick-fil-A. But actually, it, there's a powerful... I'll, I'll do another vlog on that one. But there's some powerful lyrics. I've been um, studying him a little bit. But anyway, that's for another time. All right, peace for now.